What's up fellas? Today we are back here for yet another sweet video and uh, we got the uh, the let's see this is February we got the February mystery tackle box here for you a little unboxing today I know I've been doing a couple unboxings recently but uh, one I've been very busy with school and work and just like tests and everything I don't have the best grades right now so my parents also want me to like stay home and study and if I'm not working then try to study and uh, and then I've still got to have like family time mixed in there so and it feels like every day that I'm free uh, like the weather is not like today like today it's a it's a nice day outside it's like 50 degrees so um, and it's still kind of like sunny cloudy part, partly cloudy I'd say um, so normally I don't get these days when I'm off but today I'm off it's right before church actually but uh, I just wanted to um, I've got the mystery tackle box right here for you I'm gonna unbox this, this guy and uh, hopefully um, maybe if I'm able to get out on the water I will try to get out and uh, do some fishing with some of these baits um, or if not I'll just try to get out and uh, and fish with the baits in general so let's dive into it today so we got the little mystery tackle box right here and uh, this is kind of what comes inside so we got the little the little bait card right here this pretty much just tells you uh, everything that is in the box if we can focus on that there we go okay focus um, next we got a little sticker right here a little cowboy riding a uh, crankbait guessing so that is good. Okay, we're gonna need to keep that sticker right there. Next, we got the little uh, a little dibble digest thing. That's what it used to be called. Um, just comes with it says tips and tricks. So uh, just kind of based on the baits that come in the box. And yeah, that's that. So next, so first off, the first bait in the box is the Guggen Squad Scout. That is this guy right here. So, um, I've actually got the junior, I've got a couple of the juniors, and uh, this is the normal size one, and uh, let's see, does it say a color on there? Pro Blue. So, um, pretty sweet little jerk bait. Um, I don't normally do too much jerk bait fishing, but uh, that's that. So, uh, we'll have to put that to, uh, to good use, I'm sure. Next, we've got the Carl's Bait and Tackle uh, Baits Thacker, Thacker. Thacker, maybe. Um, that is maybe that. No, not that. This guy, little lipless crankbait for you guys. Um, in a uh, little shad pattern, uh, lipless crankbaits can be really good. Uh, just pretty much all year round, I use those, use them a lot. So there's that guy. So and then I'm guessing the next one is Bass Dynasty. No, nope, it's not. It's this one. It's gonna be this guy right here. The Bass Dynasty Dyna Crawl. So um, I'll try to uh, take one of these out of the package or do a little overlay real quick. Uh, but that is pretty much the crawl right there. Um, comes with a pack of four or five or whatever. Uh, and a pretty cool color too. That's like a uh, black with red flake. So that's a really good crawl. Um, and you can see, you'll be able to see what to use this guy for in just a second. Um, so next we have the Thousand Bait, Thousand Fish, uh, Death Stalker, which is this guy right here. This is a little blade bait. Um, I don't use these too much and haven't used them uh, a whole lot, but I'm sure they would. Uh, it would be really good, especially for some smaller bass um, and even like larger uh, bluegill or crappie or uh, something like that. But I will have to put that to the test. I haven't used one of those guys um, in a while and very much either. Um, next, we've got the uh, Hard Hat Jigs Lumberjack Flippin' Jig. That is this guy right here, a little little flippin' jig. I believe we got a jig last time, maybe like a little finesse jig. Uh, but this guy's a flippin' jig, so you're going to be wanting to, uh, to throw this around some brush um, and trees and laydowns and everything. It's going to be 3 eighths of an ounce right there. Looks like it just came in green pumpkin, which is a great all-around color uh, for really any, any water. Um, yeah, green pumpkin, one ounce, uh, three eighths of an ounce. We get, oh, I'm getting a call. Okay, um, with a four out hook. So, um, lo looks like a pretty cool little jig right there. Looks probably like an Arky style head. So, um, that is pretty cool. Um, okay, I wish I could make that thing stop, but 
It does not. I don't know who that is either. Um, okay, next we got the um, Carl's Amazing Baits Varmint. Uh, kind of sounds like a vomit, but uh, that is that little guy right there. It looks like just like a little creature bait. Um, I'll do a little overlay of that guy real quick. Um, but it's just like a little crawl. Um, you can put that on the back of this jig right here, or you can just kind of throw this um, Texas rig and flip it. And uh, it's, a, it's a great color. It's in green pumpkin, so it would match with the jig pretty good. But, like, you know, uh, you don't really have to if you don't want to. So... A little four pack right there, so that's pretty cool. Next, we've got the Daiichi Assorted Worm. worm. Oops. Well, I can't say worm. So those are them right there. They're, they're not the uh, the thickest hooks, so I would use throw these guys on a medium. Um, I don't know. I just set the I know myself, and I set the hook real hard. Um, so you could, or you could use a, a little spinning reel. So um, little worm hooks. You could use those for the last bait. Is the Big Bite baits. Limit Maker. Oh, that's just a package. That guy right there. It looks like a little drop shot bait. You could also use that those little hooks for them. Um, put them on like a real small little uh, Texas rig on a spinning rod. But a uh, little Limit Maker, you could use those. They look almost like a very small fluke. Um, little drop shot bait, kind of whatever you want to do. So um, that is that is the box. Um, came with we got a couple. We got three crankbaits three plastics, some hooks, and uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to uh, to put some of those guys to the test soon. Um, I also need to make a video going over um, all the Guggen baits that I have now, um, the swim baits, the new swim baits, um, as well as uh, the crank baits that I have, the jerk baits, um, the scout now, uh, the normal scout and the scout junior, um, and then some of the other like square bills and um, lipless crankbaits. So um, other than that, I think, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.